Beloved, this is Pastor Kingsley, head pastor, Trinity Baptist Church. Thank you for allowing me into the comforts of your homes. The coronavirus has waged a war against the world. And as President Macron of France rightly said, we are in a war. What we are facing is unprecedented in peacetime. Governments have been forced to shut their borders. They've been forced to quarantine people. Schools are being shut down. And in some nations, it is a total shutdown. As at now, over 200,000 people have been infected by this disease, and over 8,000 people have lost their lives. Our government here in the United Kingdom, the advice on social gatherings includes mosques and also churches. Uh, this is the time for you and I to become responsible. Responsible by paying attention not only to what government is saying and following government's advice, but this is a time to practice good hygiene. This is a time to eat responsibly. We must be eating balanced diet, which help boost our immune system. Here in the United Kingdom alone, unfortunately, we have lost, as of today, 104 precious lives with about 2,626 people being infected by the coronavirus. The question then is, how do we react? As a people, let us do all that we can to support the weak amongst us. Let us be there for the elderly. And as a church, we are taking some measures, not only to be in constant touch with them, but to ensure that they have all the supplies that they need. I would want to say that it is very important that we act as a people of God with faith and also with common sense. Because Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, God says, I have not given to you a spirit of fear, nor, or, nor timidity, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. What God is saying to us as a, as a people, as his children, is that fear is a spirit, but he has not given us that spirit. Also, we should know that what is happening is prophetic. For Jesus himself, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 7, said that a time is coming when nation will rise against nation, kingdom will rise against nation, there will be famines, there will be pestilences, and there shall be earthquakes. That word, pestilence, in uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, 24 verse 7 stands for contagious and diseases that are pandemic and dangerous. The Lord is saying to us, don't panic because he has overcome the world. And, and again, let me say this finally, that this is a time to place our total faith in God. This is a time to trust God. And trusting God by knowing that he watches over his word to perform it. God himself has promised that he will never leave nor forsake us. Therefore, this is not the time to be panicking and being fearful, but to trust God. That God is not a man to lie. And what he has said is exactly what he will do. I pray that May your houses and your lives be marked with the precious blood of Jesus. And when the angel of coronavirus sees it, he will pass over you. Your going out and coming in shall be blessed. No calamity shall come now your dwelling. As your day, so shall your strength be. You will not die before your time. Coronavirus will not kill you. Till further notice, we will be coming to you with various broadcasts and all our services will be streamed online every Sunday. And the times will be on our website, so look out for that. The Lord richly bless you, keep you, and cause his face to shine upon you. It is well. Mm -hmm.